So this podcast is just to uh, help you quickly do the chi-squared um, working out using Excel to help you do all the long calculations. So over here I have just some observed frequencies with gender against favorite ice cream flavors. And uh, then here I have the expected frequencies almost filled out. I need to just fill these two out. And so I've left them blank just so you can see where they came from. As a reminder, here's your little rule for the expected frequencies. So if I want to work out uh, the expected frequencies for males who like vanilla, remember we must always put an equal sign, and I do the um, row total for males multiplied by the column total, and I just realized I need to put some brackets in there because then all of that is divided by my total. And I just press enter. And then I'm just going to do the same for the females. So I want a bracket total females multiplied by total people who like that flavor divided by the number of people all together. All right. So they are my expected frequencies finished. Of course, you will need to do that for all of them. And then if I just replace them here, so I had males who like vanilla is eight and females who like vanilla was 10. And make sure you pair them up correctly. So the males who like vanilla, the expected frequency is 10.26 and the expected frequencies for females who like vanilla is 7.74. Okay, now it's just doing some quick calculations. So here is our formula to c work out chi-squared. Remember, you must do this. The first time you do a chi-squared calculation in your project, you must do it the long way. So first of all, it says observe, frequen observe frequency minus expected frequency. So I've just got that column here, and I want, there's my observed minus my expected, done. Then quickly click on it, get the black cross, remember, drag down. The next bit says square that answer, so it equals, I want that answer squared, and again, drag down. So super quick. Next thing says divide that, the square, by the expected frequency. So it equals the square I already have, divided by the expected frequency, which is that one. And again, drag down. And lastly, so we've done all this part, and then remember this funny symbol means to sum. So it means I need to sum all those up. I need to add them all up. So down here, I have equals. And from one of the previous podcasts, you should have remembered that we can use the built-in function sum in Excel. And if I just highlight the ones I want to sum, press enter, it calculates for me. So there is my chi-squared value. And then, of course, you would compare that to your critical value. And uh, that's it. Okay, good, thanks, bye.